Well, some people really geek out on Star Wars and Star Trek and all kinds of different things, but man, sometimes I geek out a little much on these travel trailers, RVs, whatever you want to call them. Today I am looking at a 40 C20 Cedar Creek Cottage. That's a lot of, a lot of names to keep up with. <laughs> anyway, this is a park model. I don't believe I've ever got to walk into a park model before. I've walked into some trailers and said this would work well as a park model, but today I'm actually in one that is specified for park models. And before I forget, I am very grateful to the dealerships that let me do what I do. Let me come out here and show y'all what they have in stock and that sort of thing. Today I am over at Reed Camper. That is in Huntsville, Alabama. What I want to show you is this big window. You can watch this man right here take his shirt off, put his shirt on. Man, you can't do that in just any RV. Look how big that window is. All right, so anyway, you've got a... Uh, You've got this big cabinet set up here right over the bed. There is plenty of storage over that bed. And the ceiling in here is high. I am six foot. Usually I can touch the ceiling in anywhere I'm at because I have arms of, a, of an orangutan, but I cannot reach up to touch the ceiling. But I do want to show you how huge this cabinet storage is in here. Now I will say that this storage on this side of the bed is quite high so I don't know that you would ever be able to really get up in there too often but that over the bed is definitely at a at a height level you could easily access now right in here you've got a washer and dryer hook up and you've got sliding glass doors right there those mirrored doors you've also got a way to hang clothes in there if you do not want to use that as a laundry room and right beside the bed, you've got USB ports on both sides of the bed. You've also got electrical outlets on both sides of the bed. So let me kind of show y'all around this bedroom here. Again, I know I showed you the half-naked man out that window there. And that is a mirror over there. That is not a window. But uh, anyway, look at that wall there. You could put a 80-inch TV along that wall right there if that mount would hold it definitely could it will hold quite a bit but i don't know how big of a tv it will hold but square footage wise my goodness you have got a huge wall right there also up here in the ceiling i need to show you that you have your heat and air conditioning vents up into the ceiling area here you've also got a ceiling fan now that's what that is they just do not have the blades installed and I would imagine they wait till uh, they have got this thing put in place before they install those. Okay, now as you're in the bedroom, up under the bed, it opens up just like a mouth on a fish. You got all kinds of storage up under the bed there. Man, you can put all kinds of stuff, hide everything you need to keep from the kids right there up under the bed. They would never think to look up under there. And something else I want to point out to you, I'm right here uh, at the very, very back of the trailer. And what I want to show you is you have like a makeup center. This is where a woman could put on all her war paint. You've got uh, USB outlets over there. You've got uh, electrical outlets. And uh, this thing's already uh, pre-wired for Wi-Fi and all that great stuff. So, man, I tell you what, Every woman would love to sit there and put on her war paint and look out that window right there every day. I guess that's why they put the mirror right there. How about that? All right, well, let's go check out the rest of this thing. And again, right there is the door that we came into to get in this thing. And man, we are right at the back of it. So you've got a little bit of storage right here, right as you come in the door, which would be great to put your winter coats, that sort of thing. Definitely uh, plenty of storage to put them. And we got a door here that will divide the master suite from the rest of the place. I tell you what, before we go too far, let's uh, let's show you where the business happens, right? So you've got a uh, a foot flush toilet here, and I believe, yep, that is a porcelain. So you've got the porcelain toilet right here, and you've also got a vent right there. One thing I will say that I do not like about having this vent right here, if the company happens to be watching this. Men stand up when they take a leak, they splatter, it happens. 
it would all go down in that vent and then that vent would be blowing it all back up into this unit you would always have the bacteria going on you do not need to put vents anywhere near toilets that should never happen whether you're building a house or whether you have a rv whatever you want to call it never put a vent by a toilet all right so you've also got uh you got some cabinet storage here right over the toilet you've got a mirror in there and you've also got plenty of room to put shaving cream and all kinds of great stuff You've got some uh, hooks on the wall here where you can hang stuff up. You've got mirrors over here as well, right over in front of this sink. Look at this fancy sink. So they've got two faucets here in case two of you need to wash your hands at the same time, which really don't happen that often, but it does impress a lot of people. And you've got a real nice shower. Now, I believe Dennis Rodman could even take a shower in this thing and not have to worry about needing a skylight. I guarantee you that is a good nine foot up in the air. And you've also got a fantastic or max air fan. I don't know which one that is, but it is in here. And you've also got plenty of storage in here beside, beside the shower. And they've also got a little hook do lolly right here that you can hook this door shut so that while this thing is in transit, you don't have to worry about that sliding back and forth. Now, what I do want to show you is there is a lot of storage under that sink there. Look at all those drawers and that open space that you can store stuff. Very, very nice. And you've got a sliding door. That's what this is right here. This door will slide back and forth and give you your privacy, and it is latched right here. Matter of fact, I'll undo that so somebody don't break it. All right, so now let's go by this doorway here, and let me show you that. And there we have it. Look at there. We've got us a sliding glass door, and that is right across from that bathroom we just came out of. All right. Now I want to show y'all something I think is pretty neat. We've got a dinette right here. You have got uh, four chairs to go with this dinette. Good thing is you can move these chairs around anywhere you need to, but I am going to show y'all a good hiding secret about RVs. You go to the back side of the chair, and look at that. Ladies... Y'all can hide your money in here, and your husband will never think to look in there. I guarantee you. All right, just don't tell him about those little hiding spots. All right, so you've got a good window right there where you can, man, have a wonderful view. I love that. That is pretty sweet. And also over here, you have got some real nice couch set up here. You've got like theater type seating here. And over here, you have a full couch. Both of these will convert down, but this one here will convert down and make into like a bed. So, uh, man, that's pretty nice. I sat on those. I love the comfort of it. Now, what I want to show you is right here is your entertainment center. So you've got your TV right there. You've also got a faux fireplace that does double as a true heating system. But what I want to show you is that if you're at that couch, you've got a good view of the TV area. And if you are over here, you have a good view of the TV area. And if you are sitting at the dinette, you have a good view of the TV area as well. Now, if you notice these windows, some of them are a little darker than others. What it is, is they have like a daytime shade that's pulled here. And you've also got another shade up there that'll give you complete darkness. So you can pull that, that brown shade down and really give you some serious privacy. All right, so again, there's the entertainment center that I talked about. It comes with a Jensen uh, stereo uh, speaker system there. That's what that is, and that hooks through your TV as well. You can use Bluetooth, DVD, and all that great stuff right here inside of this thing right here. And right above your, your uh, TV, you've got a little bit of cabinetry storage. And we'll go ahead and go through the kitchen now. We've got some storage in here as well deep enough you could put you a loaf of bread in there whatever you might need to and this is a convection type microwave now what's what's kind of uncommon is that not only do you have the convection type microwave but you got a three burner cooktop and below it you've got a true oven usually you don't see the convection microwave along with a true oven that's not something you see very often so i do like that they gave you that option and we will continue to go onward over here towards the 
Check out this refrigerator, my goodness. Dual cooling system, high humidity. All right, I have never seen one of these. If you're wondering what all these blue things are, that's just tape to keep all these drawers from flying around in here while this thing is in transit. Don't know if you can tell exactly what we're looking at here, but anyway, this thing is huge. Man, I believe that is bigger than the one I have in my house. And this is by Insignia. First time I've seen one of these. Okay, so over here we've got a little bit more of a kitchen prep area, or you could use this maybe as like an office desk or whatever you wanted to. You've got some storage in here. You've got a couple of drawers. This is where you could definitely keep your junk drawer. And you've got waste baskets here. I don't know why you need two waste baskets. Somebody down in the comments, y'all tell me why you would need two waste baskets. Is that a his and hers? Like, uh, your trash goes in here, honey. My trash goes in this top one. All right, so we got a control panel here. That's where you turn all your slides on and off and your water pumps and all that great stuff. And you've got a little bit of storage above this counter as well. And that goes back probably about 14 inches deep. And we got the same thing right there beside it. So let me show you the uh, kitchen uh, countertop area. Right below the countertop, you'll see there's a 110 outlet where you got a dual plug. And uh, it's going to be hard for me to squeeze in there and get footage too. So if you've ever seen one, one drawer pull out, you've seen them all. You kind of know what happens there. You, you've seen drawers before. So anyway, we pull those out and uh, that's what's going on under here. And let's see what we got happening on the, uh, on the sink. We got a dual bowl sink. Very nice countertop. I don't know what this material is, but it's very heavy. And you've got the little faucet there that will move around. You can hose down your broccoli or your dog or whatever you got in the sink. Well, I know I rushed through this one pretty quick, but uh, to be honest with you, I have run out of battery space on my camera, so I am completely out. So uh, anyway, folks, I appreciate y'all spending some time with me today. I'm looking up here at the ceiling, and I'm seeing all kinds of wonderful lighting that they put into the ceiling. They've got a ceiling fan also in the living room area. Got some uh, Max Air fan right here as well. Oh, there's just too much stuff for me to be able to go through with no battery on here and it's about 150 degrees in here as well Folks, I appreciate y'all spending some time with me today. Hey, uh, if y'all would leave down in the comments below Let me know if you want to see more of these park models. Like I said, I believe this is the first one I've ever stepped foot in So uh, man, I appreciate y'all spending some time with me Let me know what you think. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye